Hello friends, this is Bhunesh Mutha from Easy Photo Edit and welcome to this episode where I am going to show you how you can fix faded or low contrast images. Here you can see this is how my image looks before and this is how my image looks after the fix. So let me show you how I did that from scratch. To do that let me just delete my adjustment group and before I start editing I always have a habit to look at the histogram first. So right now our histogram panel is not open. To open the histogram panel let me go to window menu and from there histogram. By default the histogram panel opens up in the compact view and to have a little more better view of our histogram let me just go to histogram panel options and change that to expanded view. And now you can see your histogram much better. Let me just move my image to the right. And now you can see the histogram and straight away I can see that it is lacking information in the blacks. In case if you guys have not used a histogram before, let me just give you a quick brief. A histogram is broken into five segments. On the right you have the whites, then you have the highlights, midtones, shadow information and then the blacks. And straight away by seeing this histogram we can see that we do not have any shadow information and there is no blacks also. So this gives me a starting point of what I need to do with my image. So let me just go to my create new adjustment layer and create levels. Let me just bring this a little down so that you can see your levels panel. And now you can see the same histogram over here and a levels panel has three sliders, the whites, the midtones and the blacks. Since we don't have information in the blacks, I would move my black slider until I reach the start of the histogram. And now you can see your image looks a lot better. This is how it was looking before and this is how it looks after. But this is the basic method of getting contrast back into your image. But I want to take this a step further and to do that I would like to introduce you to one more concept. But before that let me just reset my adjustments to defaults. Every RGB image is made up of three channels a red channel, a green channel and a blue channel and when all the three channels come together that is when you see a final composited image like this. So to view each and every channel let me just go to my channels panel and here I can see the composited view which is the RGB and if I want to view my red channel let me just click on the red and here I can see my red channel the green channel and the blue channel. Now coming back to our red channel, we can see red channel is lacking contrast. It looks faded. Similarly, our green channel is also lacking contrast. The blue channel looks better, but then still it is a bit low in contrast. So how do we fix our channel contrast? So let me just come to my RGB composite and go back to my layers and now let me show you how you can view the same detail in your histogram panel. So to do that let me go to my histogram panel in the panel options select all channels view and now you can see your composited view histogram, red channel histogram, green channel histogram and blue channel histogram. Let me show you a quick tip. I like to view my channels in color form. So to do that let me just go to my histogram panel options and show channel in color. And this looks so much better because now I can easily differentiate the channels. And now when we see the red channel I can see there is no blacks in my red. Similarly no blacks in my green. and. I have no contrast in my blue as well. So how do we fix this? 
let me go to go back to my levels adjustment and now let me go to my red channel and here I would do the same thing what I did earlier by taking my blacks and moving it until I reach the starting point of my histogram. You must be wondering that your image is looking so bad now but trust me guys just wait till you finish this adjustment and your image will look a lot better. So let me go back to my green channel and take my blacks to the starting point of my histogram and let me do the same for the blue channel and let me take my black slider to the starting point of my histogram and this has fixed our image and our image is looking so much better now. So here you can see this is how it was looking before and this is how our image looks after. So let me close our histogram panel which we do not require now and now let me just switch back to RGB and let me just move my image back to center. To add a little more contrast to our image now let me just create a new adjustment layer called brightness contrast and just increase the contrast from here to let's say 40. I think 40 looks good and just increase uh, the brightness a bit because since it's a sunny day and this can add in a little more brightness to our image. Let me just take that to 3 and now you can see how much of a difference this brightness contrast is doing to your image. One final adjustment I would like to do to this particular image is add a little more of the orange tint because it's a sunny day so I would like to add a little more of the orange contrast in our image. To do that let me just go to create new adjustment layer and create a photo filter adjustment and by default you have the warming filter 85 selected on a density of 25 which is I think good to go but the only small change which I would like to do is change my blend mode from normal to soft light. And here you can see this is the soft light is also a lot more harsher on our image. So I would like to pull it back by decreasing the opacity of this particular adjustment layer to 35. I think that looks good on my image and it looks natural. So let me just expand my layers panel and now let me just group all the three adjustments and you can see this is how my image was looking before and this is how my image looks after. Let me show you the same example on one more image. So let me just go to my window. Let me just open my second image. So here you can see I have one more faded image and let me show you how I can fix this. So this time instead of opening the histogram let me just directly open my levels adjustment layer. And let me just move my layers panel a bit more down. And I can see the same histogram over here. So I would use this piece of information and start my edit. I would not do editing on my RGB rather I would go to my red channel. Here you can see I am lacking information in my blacks as well as on my whites. So I would move my black slider to the right until the start of my histogram. And similarly I would move my whites until the end of my histogram. I would do the same for my green channel. Let me move my blacks to the start of my histogram and let me move my whites to the end of the histogram and similarly I would do the same for my blue channel. I would move my blacks to the start of the histogram and move my whites to the end of the histogram. And here you can see this is how my image looks. So let me just turn off the adjustment layer and this is how my image looks before and this is how my image looks after the fix. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe, 
and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my updates and I'll be showing you lot many demystifying photo editing techniques in my future videos. Until then, take care.